in today's video i am going to show you how to connect plc delta plc to modbus leo uh, any modbus leo simulator so for this we need one uh, modbus simulator so first we will download the simulator just check in this website i will give the link in description okay select your operating system i have 64 bit so i am going to download 64 bit version just download this okay so you just need to install this software okay i have already installed this so i will not install again but you need to install that software okay uh, now open the wps soft this is previous program i will just close this create new project select your pod plc model number i have sc series so i will select sc okay control s yes. i will just save the program mod was test okay now you can see here communication setup this is communication program okay just click on this we are going to uh, use com2 rs485 select rs485 next we will take it as a m1000 means always on bit so uh, these are the uh, communications protocols uh, okay here you need to just click on hold communication setting these are the parameter of rs485 so this is a one bit i'm going to use seven bit even parity stop bit one bit and baud rate nine six double zero okay and uh, we are going to use ascii mode this is eight bit and we will give the 200 millisecond this is in millisecond okay just configure these values click next we are going to use modbus format so check this second option next don't do anything here okay just click on finish okay this is the modbus program now all all these uh, program uh, we need to first configure all modbus parameters so in this program all uh, we have configured all parameters of modbus we will just save this now we will just write some code ldm0 out y0 means if m0 is on then y0 will be on we will download the program plc is connected through ethernet so i will just check it ethernet click ok ok we are downloading the programming plc put it in run mode ok uh, now plc is uh, connected to laptop through usb port ok so for modbus uh, you need to just uh, need uh, usb to uh, 485 converter ok i have connected uh, usb to 485 connector and it is connected to the plc now go to device manager we will check the port com port ok 
we have COM port 2. Here I have connected the USB to 485 module. You will easily get it in market. Now just open the software which we have installed previously, Modbus Pol. Okay. You can also use ModScan or any other uh, simulator. Uh, I prefer this Modbus Pol which we have recently downloaded. Okay. Just go to connection, click here connect, register letter. Okay. We are connected through serial ports. So serial port selected. Here you can select the COM port. Okay, we have COM2. So COM2 selected. We have 9600 baud rate, 7 data bits, even parity, one stop bit. This is ASCII mode. And response time 1000 ms. Okay. Illegal data address. Now we'll just go in setup rewrite definition so first i will show you one uh, address table this is address table of uh, delta plc addresses and these are the modbus addresses i have differentiate all these so for input these addresses are used for inputs these addresses are used for outputs and these addresses are for timer you can see x0 is plc address and for modbus address we need to use this address as modbus for output for timer and for memory bit these are the addresses m0 for plc address and 2049 is modbus address so we will use this i will share this sheet with you uh, in description i will give the link of google drive you can download it from Google Drive. Okay, so first uh, we will see the status of M0. What is the address of M0? Modbus address 2049. Okay, it is 00. It is 002049, right? So we will select here 0x. This 0x means 00. Okay, 0x. 2049 okay the plc address is 20450 it is showing 50 so we will make it same so just click on this plc address okay so 2049 is address of m0 and we will read our 10 quantity of data area m0 m1 m2 it's up to m9 we will read m up to m9 so entered 10 here if i entered 5 here uh, only 5 val value will be readable just click on ok ok now this is uh, 2040 this is 2041 2042 so like that this is 2049 so we will just give the name this as a m0 this is just name okay let's open the wpl soft we'll just rearrange the window okay now if I will click M0 on, set on, this gets 1, means this is the value of M0, right? If I will set off, this will be 0, okay, we will take M1 also, I will show you M1. If M0 is on, set on, now M0 is on and M1 is also on, here you can see M0 is on, 
and m1 is also on okay so in this way uh, we have read uh, uh, registers that is memory bits so now we will uh, read uh, output okay so for output you can see what is the address for output these are the outputs okay starts from y0 y1 y2 up to y377 and uh, same modbus address for this for y0 it's 001281 and same it's up to 1536 now we will take y0 so what is the address of y0 001281 the starting is from 00 okay remember this thing so just go to setup rewrite definition it's already on 00 this is 0 right address is 1281 1281 just click on apply okay here you can see this is address of y0 this is address of y1 this is address of y2 this is just name i am giving the name y4 okay we'll open the pc program okay so now y0 is on that's why it's showing one here correct now if it is off now y0 is off now it's showing zero here perfect similarly uh, you can see the y0 y1 address here okay this is uh, of y0 y0 so for input you just need to select here for input you need to select one because input address is 101025 so here we will select one this is 1x 1x means 1 series so in 1 series what is the address 1025 input address 1025 just click on 1025 because this previous 10 is already here we have selected here so you need to just enter uh, address of last 4 digits ok apply ok so this address will be for x0 this is for x1 we will just check by forcing x0 will force on this okay we have force on x0 you can see x0 is on here if i remove force force off it will show zero here this is for input let's go for the register or timer we will release the force okay now for timer you can see here there are two addresses i have shown in for timer so these addresses are for bits and these addresses are for word so why there are two addresses for other for input and output there are only one addresses but in timer uh, in this address in word address you will get the uh, timer running value means present value okay uh, that could be one two three four uh, like that so this word is for timer value timer current value and these addresses will get on if your all time will be done when your timer will be done then this address will be turn on this is bit type and this is word type so let's see i will show you the difference now uh, first we will see the modbus word address this address okay so it's starting from 4 let's select here 4 0 let's select here 4 this is 4x so select 4x now enter the address 1537 1537 okay apply okay so this value is for t0 present value 
mm, this is similarly t1 present value okay in this way it's up to t255 and morbus address is up to 401792 okay let's go to plc side we will just add one more run here dm3 dmr t0 suppose k 50 k 50 means 5 seconds okay let's download this program now you can see uh, right now it's zero value here so let's on the timer set on the timer is increasing you can see the value same are increasing here its timer value okay so we have set the 50 so up to 50 uh, is incremented and uh, once the timer is done it will be stop okay now we will see the t on bit this modbus simulator we are using uh, we are we have not activated it so we are using trial version so it will not run more than 10 minutes so we'll just save this file on desktop delta mode was okay we'll just save this file we will close it and we will reopen it this is the file we will reopen it okay now for timer done we have the address 1537 we will check with that just change here okay first we will turn off this set off go to setup read write definition no connection first connect we have already set all parameters just click on okay so it's connecting now go to setup rewrite function okay now we are going to read timer bit so it's starting from 0 so we will select here 0x okay and the address is 1537 address is 1537 just click apply okay this is t0 done bit this is t1 done bit similarly it's up to t255 okay now this is zero right so it will be one when uh, this timer will be on so let's turn on this set to on so it's counting once it becomes 50 this will be on okay now it, the timer is done T0 is on, so you can see here T0 is one. If I will set off, then T0 will be again either here zero. The bit is zero, means T0 is off. Okay. Uh, now I will show you uh, data registers. Okay. So here I will just add one more run. LD M1000 move. Suppose uh, K10, we will move K10 into D0. Suppose we will take D5 now. Click OK. We'll download this. So what is the Modbus address for D5? Let's check it here. These are the data registers. Okay, for D5 we have the value 404102. Let's go to Modbus settings, setup, rewrite definition. So now it's starting from four zero, okay? And it's register, so you need to select read holding registers four x, okay? And what is the value ahead of four? We are using D five, so we will take four one zero two. Just enter here four one zero two, okay? You can see ten value is here. Yeah. This is D five value. 
this is in six value you can see in d5 10 value is there so it's showing 10 here we'll add one more we'll move k20 in d6 now d6 is showing 0 here once I download this it will show 20 here means in d5 10 value is there and in d6 20 is there ok in this way you can check all your modbus addresses you can read all your PLC addresses, inputs, outputs, timers, counters in any Modbus slave device. Okay, I have used here Modbus fold device, but you can use uh, Modscan also or whichever your favorite. Okay, so this sheet is important. Uh, I have mapped this all addresses. I am giving the link in description to download this sheet. I will put it on Google Drive. Okay, thank you, friends. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.